Hey guys, what's going on? Back again with some Cold War and Vanguard. Zombie, just want to go over some of the new intel that was released in Season 5 Reloaded. Uh, an outbreak, and again, it's probably going to tie into Vanguard and some of the ruins uh, and the demonology stuff. Uh, so I'm going to just kind of review what we know up until this point, and just want to kind of give some spoilers that uh, this is stuff that I did previously to Black Ops 4 about what like three years ago and um just stuff that i come across some theories done through research um uh, maybe some solves that are going to turn out to be solved so if you don't want to be spoiled maybe what's coming in vanguard maybe what's coming in cold war and the final dlc uh just be warned that some of this stuff might end up being true uh some of it again is just stuff that i stumble across um and might end up being true like i said again uh, kind of almost similar to think, even thinking about it like with Cold War. Uh, there's some stuff that I made previously to Cold War Zombies being released. And then coincidentally some of that stuff ended up on Reddit accounts and on Reddit posts and, and stuff like that. So it might be stuff that people will see and then they'll twist it into something that's uh, a fact. So keep in mind, again, I'll, I'll be honest up front. This is just stuff that I stumble across, make some connections, done through research. And... Um, I just don't want to feel guilty like what happened with um, Mao de Toten in Berlin where it was supposed to have uh, Kino de Toten people thought because I made a couple like uh, <laughs> fan uh, videos and some posts on Twitter and then I guess people see it and then they spin it into fact or they don't want to credit you uh, so they end up spinning it into like oh this is definitely coming it's a leaked info none of this is leaked info uh, it's just stuff that I do through research like again I've been doing it through since uh, Black Ops 4, before Cold War. So if you end up seeing any of this stuff coming up on like Reddit posts and, and stuff like that, more than likely it's just somebody saw it and wants to put a, um, make a quick buck out of it, I guess, or whatever. So again, I'm just gonna research um, some stuff for the new ruins and um, kind of recap what we got so far in season five. The first one was from Craft's Journal. And at the time, I thought it was maybe like a pendant, some type of um, piece or physical piece. But I think it's just um, cave drawings or writings that he came across. Uh, I guess maybe we got some clarification on that. I don't think it's any like um, structure or artifact, so to speak. It's just, I guess, some type of uh, signature or maybe some type of... Um, cult stuff who knows we'll, we'll find out but uh the first one was this one we didn't know anything about it but with the new one um and then really quickly it was done by Kraft and some research again uh his name translates into strengthens so i know he's a demonologist maybe he's trying to get become stronger more powerful uh, i guess up until this point we don't know if he's a good guy or bad guy um or maybe he starts out as a good guy and gets, you know, greedy or powerful, or wants to be powerful. Uh, so his last name does translate into strengthens. Um, maybe it'll tie into, I know they said it's not, but maybe loosely it'll tie into World War II. Because isn't, like, something in World War II zombies called craft, uh, or uses the word craft in it. So, or maybe that's what, you know, World War II, um, Cameron Dayton did. Maybe that's why they used... Uh, that like synonym, not synonym, but um, prefix or suffix, I forget which one it was, um, for the perk machines, I think it had the word craft in it, so it might be a coincidence, or it might be kind of the same universe, how everything's all tied in together now, um, that maybe he was the one who invented those perk machines a long time ago, um, and stuff like that, um, or maybe around the same time, because I think the, definitely think the word craft was used in World War II and it maybe was tied into the perk machines or the um, the armor system. I can't remember which one particularly. I probably should have researched that. But again, I tell people this is stuff that I kind of show to people. And it, you can go on your own and look for further meaning or look deeper into stuff like that. Because these would ultimately be like an hour long uh, discussions. Uh, so just something I came across. And again, it's written by... Um, Gabriel Kraft in 1944 in his journal, um, and just some stuff that we came across. So uh, we don't know yet when 
Vanguard's going to take place if it's going to take place in the 40s or right before the 80s uh, leading up into, uh, you know, Die Machine and the events of Die Machine. So uh, it probably is going to be the 40s, I guess, because it's World War II era. But who knows up until this point. Uh, so that's that. Okay, so this is the new journal page, part two. Uh, again, we didn't know too much of the first one, but they kind of gave us some clarification. Um, that one was in Egypt, the first one, and this one's in Mexico. Uh, I know when I did some research for the first one, it looks like it's Viking ruins, and it showed that Vikings went all over the world to conquer different parts. Not necessarily Mexico, so that's going to be interesting to see if this is all tying into Viking lore. Uh, Nordic lore and all that stuff and Norse mythology or they don't want to kind of go down that path and get burnt twice uh, because of what happened with Black Ops 4 um, you know and stuff like that but which I'm not going to get into but you can probably you know find out what what happened with that uh, so again this one is in Mexico it does look more like Aztec I would say of um, Aztec artifact or Aztec writing or stuff that you would see so that does jive somewhat uh, to what we've seen uh, again I'm gonna loosely go over it I went over it in the in the first um, video about the first um, ruin that it uh, it probably is you know just writings and stuff like that um, but anyways let's move on I'll go back to it so again this is all demonology stuff so this would be kind of cool like I said what I came across um, were if you cross reference Poland and demons because we know die machine takes place in um, in Poland Morasco Poland if I'm not mistaken uh, or takes part in different parts and different ether stories but I think in Cold War specifically it took place in Poland so what was really cool and it'd be kind of nice uh, if Treyarch Again, this could actually be stuff that we missed in Black Ops 4 Chaos Story, or it could be stuff that they're trying to do in um, in Vanguard. Maybe it was stuff that uh, they came across and they want to tie it together. Maybe it was stuff that was supposed to happen in the Chaos. Maybe it is the Chaos Story tying in. Maybe it's another person within the Chaos Story. Who knows? Um, maybe they're going to end up being a friend of Scarlet something like that but in Poland there's a maus mausoleum which is I guess a pretty much it's saying like a burial ground um, or burial site above ground and uh, this is a structure that somebody made I don't know if it was like that in the beginning or people just kind of over time made it look like it but it's a giant demon that is in a uh, mausoleum in Poland which um, here's a close-up of it and it kind of looks like uh, some of our keepers and apothecans and, and stuff like that. Uh, so it looks like it was a tree that maybe people over time carved it, or they put a, they made a, a face out of it, um, which looks pretty much like it's going to be within the uh, the chaos story or whatever. And, and this is just a quick article about it. You can read. Uh, it's a decaying mausoleum hides inside something you wouldn't like to find by accident at night time. Uh, again, it might not tie into anything, but it would be really cool if they did give it a backstory in Poland. Um, I don't know if they want to go back to Poland, but it looks pretty cool. But it did also remind me of um, the Chaos Mystery Box. So that would be kind of cool if that was like what we're going to get. Uh, maybe Die Machine is a... Um, map that we were supposed to get in in the chaos story they reworked it into you know the ether story and stuff like that so it wouldn't be a surprise or shock to me if that was something that maybe in one of the final deal DLCs we were gonna get a, a backstory explanation of what the the mystery box was gonna be or based off of I at the time thought it was based off of Hades um, but as you can tell it looks pretty cool and reminds me of that a lot uh, so maybe it was something that we were supposed to get maybe they kind of ran out of time or because of zombie youtubers not liking the chaos story uh, and the maps being too difficult they ended up scrapping or 
maybe they're trying to rework the whole chaos story. Uh, so uh, next thing again, uh, as far as like I said, these are just random stuff that I've come across that might have something to do with, you know, Vanguard. So there was a movie called Gabriel, uh, which is about a fallen angel trying to get back to purgatory, trying to fix purgatory. Um, it says the archangel fights to bring light back to purgatory, and this is why I sometimes say this might do have to do with spoilers. It might be um, a place where darkness rules, which is which I tried to explain to people. The dark ether is purgatory, um, and that's some of the like spoiler alert stuff that you guys need to kind of like start seeing. Um, that the dark ether is a symbolic representation of purgatory. Everything that died when the Ether multiverse collapse. Well, everything died and then went into purgatory. So now they're all stuck in purgatory. Um, all those people that are in the dark ether are pretty much just stuck in purgatory, and they're trying to find out how to get themselves out of purgatory. Maybe go back to their normal lives. Uh, maybe the purgatory corrupts you. Uh, again, that's a whole big thing that you need to research on your own. Uh, the idea of purgatory. The levels of purgatory stuff that we kind of saw also in uh, the chaos story. So again, these might be stuff that was either reworked or just coincidentally uh, have to do with maybe the chaos story. Uh, and again, I want to tell people and explain that originally chaos and ether were in the same universe. For some reason, Blundell tried to decide to split them off. It fits into the whole backstory because again. Uh, Scarlet Crew, Chaos Crew, and um, well, Chaos Crew and Ether Crew used to fight with each other. Um, they kind of split, went their different ways, had a fight or a falling out. Don't know if we ever see that in any of the stories, maybe in COD Mobile, who knows. Um, but this is just again some stuff because uh, the guy's name is Gabriel Kraft, so it's probably tying into all this uh, together. Another thing that was cool, one of the posters mentions Legion. Um, in the, uh, for the Gabriel movie, um, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so those are just some things that I came across, so you might want to watch the movie Gabriel, maybe get some idea of some stuff that may be coming, as far as, like, demonology and, and stuff like that, maybe how it'll fit into Purgatory, the Dark Ether, um, and I think, I mean, it's a low-budget movie, I think it, I read back then. Uh, so again, these are just some random stuff that I come across. Gabriel Kraft might tie into Purgatory and the movie. Um, and the other thing too, as far as the Chaos Story, the Chaos Story was based off a movie. I don't know if I'm comfortable yet uh, telling that. I didn't think I mentioned it on Twitter, but um, the Chaos Scarlet was based off a girl in a movie. Um, but I'm still, it's still up in the air if Chaos is ever coming back. Uh, I know the voice actors posted some stuff on Instagram and and maybe Twitter, hinting that she might be coming back. So I don't want to kind of open up that can of worms again and maybe ruin it for more people. Um, but uh, definitely 100% the Chaos Story was based off of uh, an alchemy movie about, you know, the gates of hell and stuff like that. Uh, the girl's name was Scarlet. Uh, so again, maybe they're finding another movie to tie in uh, Gabriel Kraft. Maybe he's going to be the main guy. Like Scarlet was the main guy, main person, uh, main girl. So it looks like it might follow this. Again, this would be so awesome if they put this in there. Uh, I don't think they'll give us Poland right off the bat. That'd be kind of strange. Um, but it might be a new set of audience for um, Vanguard. That might not know anything about Poland. Maybe it'll get them to go back and play Cold War. But it'd be cool if they kind of gave um, a story of this. Maybe comes to life or something. I don't know. It'd be really nice if they did something with that tied into Poland. Um, but anyways, I'll leave it at that till we get the new journal entry. I'll see you guys later.